Welcome back to KSNT News, everyone. We have another installment of our home setting segment <laughs> with some very fun and very sweet delicacies here. Oh, yes, we are here with another Becky. This is Becky Tipton, and she is, believe it or not, the first female president of the Kansas Honey Producers Association, which is super awesome. So Thank congratulations you. Thank you. on that first. That's like you're the first one in like 100 years, right? A roundabout. <laughs> and I haven't been there for all of them. So it's been... <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we want to talk about um, kind of starting beekeeping because if you've ever even thought about it or if you've ever been curious, you probably know that beekeeping is sort of like kind of shrouded in mystery just a little bit. It's kind of hard to get started. I mean, you might not know where to start. So where could somebody, you know, where should they start? Let's have I start got there. a plan for you? Okay, great. Now, <laughs> Steve and I have kept bees for about 30 years. We live in Meriden, Kansas, and um, honestly, our beekeeping has kind of scaled back a little bit from about 130 hives down to about 70. So now we spend a lot more time teaching about beekeeping because that's what we both really love to do. Mm -hmm. So we teach a beginning beekeeping class at Shawnee North Community Center. And I hate to say this on TV, it's a free class. Class. So oh, you can come yeah, and join us awesome. for nothing. We do it the third Wednesday of each month beginning next week in February. So I guess that's two weeks away. So it would be a couple weeks, but mm -hmm. still. So you don't need an awful lot of equipment. It really is a pretty basic kind of hobby to start. But as they say, if you want the honey, you have to face the bees. So it, it, is, yes. it is kind of one of those <laughs> things. Not everyone wants to play with boxes of thousands of stinging insects, but they are so important. So. They are, and, and what would you say, in your opinion, is the most important role of the honeybee? Oh, there, without a doubt, it's the pollination. Twenty billion dollars in increased ag revenue in the United States alone attributed to the honeybee. So we have increased ag revenue, the pollination, and that that even doesn't include home gardens. It doesn't include the natural things, the benefit of nature, because honeybees aren't really working for us. Honeybees are working their honey because right. that's bee food that's what and it's pretty delicious bee food I agree and I mean you were saying you have to face the bees if you want the honey and you have to face the bees exactly we've got a hive of our own and we, we've been talking about that too and I'm so excited to to chat with you today and to learn about um, beekeeping from you hopefully me and my husband can head out to one of your uh, classes and I hope so that would be amazing do you have any questions Kelly I think that's actually all the time we have but you know we'll have our post show on Facebook live mm -hmm. for anybody at home who has questions awesome so tune in once the show is over at 7 and we can answer some more questions for everybody yep. and we'll definitely post some information on the beginner beekeeping yes, class very good well. and I think I'll thank put you. on the suit just for fun <laughs> just for so, funsies yeah. why well, not thank you so much thank Becky. you I'm so excited me. to talk to you of course of course, we'd love to have you back anytime. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Well, stay tuned because.